Here we call your haircut the Scav Special. Little flecks of blood, give it the personal touch. You should think about getting a trim. What are my options? You name it. Shaves, long cuts, short cuts, braids, layering. Eh, be easier just to show you. Got an empty chair right here. Sure. Let's get to it. Just sit in the chair. If that article in the public is right, then McDonald's... Hey, hey, enough of that. Look, we're safe on this side of the wall. That's all that matters. Hey there. I got an empty chair here just waiting for some beautiful customer to get a haircut. Probably nothing. Some guy came into town, said he picked up a weird distress call in the Cambridge room. Don't say just any dead. old pieces hey, of wood. Finally Protection think from swatted wealth weaponry. Hey, swatter, 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 swatter. Look, Scatter, I ain't buying anything. Swatter. Shopping right here. Ellie, are you here? Nick? Oh, God, it's really you. <laughs> well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday, death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here. Every cap we agreed to for finding him. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. There was a man and a woman, um, they didn't say much, but, but I remember they, they called me the backup. So we're talking a small team, professionals, the kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. What else can you tell me? My husband was murdered. He was just trying to keep them from taking Sean and they, they just, they just. It's okay, you don't need to say anything more. So we're talking about a group of cold hearted killers, but they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. Anything else you remember? We're looking for my baby, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? And why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. 
Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the gunners. And of course, there's the Institute. So you think this Institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal, and there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. <sighs> Don't lie to me, Nick. You're one of them. They made you. Yeah, I've heard it all before. You're a freak. You've got something to hide. Blah, blah, blah. But the truth is, People smart enough to build something like me are smart enough to cover their tracks, and arrogant enough to throw their unwanted trash into the Commonwealth to fend for itself. You don't know anything about them. Really? Some kind of security setting strips or blocks out those memories. And it's not just me. Any synth that gets trashed, left behind, or escapes the Institute has the same problem. Probably some kind of fail-safe. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? The woman was dressed in a... Uh, I think it was kind of a, a hazard suit. The man had... Some sort of metal brace on his arm. Maybe some kind of improvised armor? A lot of hired guns do that to look tough. The hazard suit is interesting. Not many mercs can afford something that fancy. What else do you remember about them? The man who... killed my husband, he... had a handgun. I didn't get a clear look at it, but... That sound. Could have been a large caliber revolver. Huh. I'm starting to get a clearer picture of the kind of man our perp is. Anything more you can tell me? I'll never forget that voice. Low and rough. Like... like sandpaper. Across your face. Huh. Not much to go on. But a tough and commanding voice can get someone pretty far in the violence business. What else? One of them came right up to me. Bald head, scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? I might have. Everything was foggy. Hmm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. It's Sean. It has to be... somehow. Don't jump the gun on me. You said you were looking for an infant, remember? That's over nine years difference by my count. Look, maybe he has a son of his own. Maybe it's someone else's kid. Either way, they both vanished a while back. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am.
Hey, Valentine. Follow me. Let's check out this house Kellogg left vacant. I uh, didn't want Ellie to hear this, but I think you should know. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance is bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies, because they're all dead. <laughs> Except you. But nine to one odds says he's our man. It's more than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Nick. Give me a sec. That's one heck of a lock. Got something to hide, Kellogg? Why don't you give it a try? Lock's really strong. Don't think no I can luck? pick this. Guess we'll need to find the key. You see that platform in the distance, near the city entrance? That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. Swatter, swatter, who needs a swatter? Got too much dirt in that hair? Get it trimmed. You won't regret it. Extra, extra. Is your neighbor really human? We have the exclusive. Read the paper, lady. Trust me. Hey, Nat. Selling papers is busy work, lady. Why doesn't the mayor come out of his office, huh? He's afraid of talking to the press? I bet if I said I was with the Institute, he'd come running. You ever think maybe you could get a man's attention easier if you use softer words, honey? Maybe shout a little less? Oh, that reminds me of this article I'm writing about the mayor's affair with a certain air-headed blonde. Oh, look who it is. What brings you to the mayor's office, huh? What are you doing here, Piper? Trying to find out why the mayor happens to be meeting with the same suspicious-looking courier every other week. Not from any settlement I've ever heard of. And not from a caravan. Always in and out before anyone has a chance to talk to him. An errand boy from the Institute, maybe. <laughs> After this article comes out, that's what everyone's gonna be asking. If you are done crowding the reception area, Miss Piper, the mayor needs to make time for more... responsible citizens. <laughs> I was just leaving anyway. Hey, Geneva. The mayor's receiving visitors as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you need help? Who do I talk to if I need to find a key to a house that's been locked up? If you're talking about a property that the city has seized, we only have one on the books. Mr. Kellogg's old house. 
You'd have to ask the mayor directly if you want the keys. I'll talk to the mayor then. He set aside time to talk to petitioners all day. Best of luck. No funny business around the mayor. Got it? Ah, yes. I remember you. Our new arrival. I wish I was in your shoes, getting to see our glorious city for the first time. How can I help you? Nick Valentine wanted me to see you? Did he now? Some investigation, I assume? You two aren't trying to get me into hot water now, are you? <laughs> A man named Kellogg used to live in the city. I need to search his house. I see. Well, whatever reasons you have, I take my citizens' privacy very seriously. Even after they've left. I can't allow you to invade someone else's home. That's all there is to it. Please, Mayor McDonough. This man Kellogg kidnapped my baby. I need to find him. Oh, of course. I... I will do everything in my power to help you overcome this horrible personal tragedy. I remember Mr. Kellogg. Didn't like him myself. Paranoid. Never talk to anyone. I doubt you'll find him. But I insist you take the key to his old house. It's been abandoned, though. I'm afraid this whole thing might be fruitless. Need something, honey? Housing pro Got the key? All right, let's head in. You do the honors. Let's take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. They seem small to you. Figured a guy like Kellogg would think big. Well, that's one way to hide a room. Well, look at this. All of a Merc's favorite things. Gwyneth Stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars. San Francisco sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. Waiting on. I wonder if dog meat could pick up the scent. Say, that's not a bad idea. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whiff? See if he picks up the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, 
I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. I want you with me on this, Nick. All right. Let's get that bastard. This is your show from here on out, okay? You say jump, I'll say how high. Hey. I'm all... All ears. Hey. Looks like you got something to say. Your thoughts? Should we get a move on? Are things okay between you and me? Hard to say. You know, some folks are just out for themselves. Some want to help those in need. Jury's still out which camp you're in. Oh, nothing. Suit yourself. So long as you're carrying it. Heads up. Do some something for you? 